Vital signs. We're going to begin with the blood pressure. Position the patient in the upright position with their feet flat on the floor. Place the wrist cuff on the patient's non-dominant wrist with the thumb pointing up. One fourth inch to one half inch from the patient's wrist. Direct the patient to position their non-dominant hand across their chest so that the cuff is the same level as the patient's heart. Direct the patient to support this wrist with their other hand. You're going to direct the patient to stay still by s please telling them no talking or moving while you're taking their blood pressure. Push the start stop button. When the blood pressure reading is complete, the display lights will indicate so. Remove the cuff. After removing the blood pressure cuff, take the patient's pulse for 30 seconds. Using the pads of the index and middle fingers on the inferior aspects of the radial artery. You will double this pulse reading and compare it to the 60 second reading you have on your cuff. While still holding the patient's wrist in the pulse position, take respirations for 30 seconds. Count the rise and fall of the patient's chest. Watch for movement in their clothing and their shoulders may also rise. Double this count and you will have your 60 second respiration rate.